Hi Scorpio my friend, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading. For the week of January the 15th to January the 22nd, 2018. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel out on YouTube and for liking, viewing and sharing it with your friends and family members. As you know it's strictly a general reading and every single card for every single person in the universe cannot apply to everybody, but if you'd like clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions, I can give that to you in a private reading. So I welcome you to go up there and click that button and it will take you to my website where you can see the services that I offer and how to schedule either a private reading with me or a Reiki session with me. Scorpio, we start off our week, my friend, with the aid of water. This is Monday. And this tells me that, uh, and, and you know, water cards are our relationship cards and sometimes they can be romantic and intimate and other times not. But it shows me that you are uh, in a relationship with someone and that you have the desire to move on because you're searching for something more meaningful in your life. And when you do this, it will be a spiritual and a an emotional growth for you. So please be aware that you know universe and the divine sources that be are sending you out uh, all this positive energy knowing that you have this decision to make. It's difficult uh, but that you're on the right path by even just thinking of it. You know the law of attraction my friend. Uh, um, make sure you're, you are thinking good thoughts and what is best for you for your highest uh, highest uh, good. On Tuesday, you've been given the wheel. That's a great card, Scorpio. You know that. And the next card you're getting is even as profound and amazing. So I'm happy for you, my friend. It's time of positive change. Perhaps moving on from a toxic and uh, a relationship with someone that hadn't been bringing you the peace, the bliss, and the happiness that you desired is probably one of the uh, one of the reasons why uh, change is happening in a positive way. You know what? Um, I do see that a situation and possibly uh, you know it could have to do some of you I see with your job some of you it may have been a challenging legal issue uh, some of you it may have been a relationship issue but I do see that it, your this situation will suddenly move forward for you it's you know it's almost like um, fortunes on your side no matter what you do um, you're going to land on your feet uh, also it's going to help to lift any um, any old blocks that have been blocking you from uh, moving forward with your goals. This is a card of good karma, a, a, a miracle, a twist of fate and destiny. This is a wonderful card of good luck and good energy coming down the path for you, Scorpio. Now, back to back, Wednesday, look what you got, the wheel. So again, this is an amazing, amazing card here. This is about changes that are occurring right now in your life. Whether they're big or small, they're going to work out well for you. Okay, so again, this is talking about changes. A job well done, you know, joy and contentment and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. It's a wonderful card to get the wheel and then get the world. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing to get the world card too. It's a job well done. And you've made some accomplishments, working hard for what you have. So you need to commend yourself. I do see some of you may actually be receiving an award or some sort of recognition for what you've been doing. Some of you I do see will be moving to a new job. Some of you I see will be moving to a new home. Some of you I see will be getting a new position within your place of employment. Anyway, you need to feel the freedom, my friend, of a job well done. On Thursday, you've been given an Earth card, the Three of Earth, Scorpio. And Earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives, often our jobs, careers, professions. But it is the Earth card, and it can have to do with Mother Nature, the ecosystem, and um, also your closest circle, which would be your immediate family or people you feel closely attached to that you would bring into that circle. Um, it shows me that you're going to be getting recognition for all the effort and the work and the time you've spent either on a project, uh, in a group, at your place of employment, or even in relationships or with your clients. Um, I do see that um, the reason this is happening is because you get along, because you're flexible, because you're adaptable, and because they refer to you as a fantastic team player. So you have the power of creativity within you, Scorpio to continue moving in this positive direction on your path. Great card. Your week is coming up fabulous, my friend.
balance for Friday. So that's pretty self-explanatory. You know, balance is all about um, doing things in moderation and the words cooperation and compromise should be added to, uh, to that as well. <clears throat> um, when you're going to do anything right now, if you've been contemplating uh, Scorpio of uh, making a very profound uh, change in direction on your path, whether it's, you know, you're leaving a relationship, going into a relationship, moving, uh, physically moving somewhere else geographically, a job change, whatever it is, okay, please know that you need to wait for the perfect timing, okay, that's what balance is about, and we all need to be balanced emotionally, mentally, and uh, spiritually before we move forward on our path like that, so please know that cooperation and compromise will be coming into play this week. You're going to be coming into situations and people on your path where you're going to have to be a little more flexible and uh, a little more adaptable. <clears throat> on Saturday, my friend, you've been given a water card, and this is the Nine of Water. This is your second and last water card, but this is <clears throat> Dreams Fulfilled. This is the ultimate happiness romance card. For some of you that are in a relationship, uh, that, um, uh, you know, you're in a relationship or it's a new relationship with someone that's come into your life, please know that uh, this is going to work out well in your favor. Uh, stop worrying about this relationship for some of you. I do see that, um, <clears throat> you know, the first card talked about others that were leaving the relationship. Then there's others that are staying in a relationship. And they've realized that uh, this is the one. It's been worth all the time and effort. Uh, and it's going to be um, lasting long term. At the end of the week, my friend Scorpio, Sunday, you've been given a major card and you have been given the strength card. And, <clears throat> and this card is to uh, let you know that uh, no matter how rough times get and um, how down and, you know, dejected and, you know, uh, distressed you get, um, Please know that you're stronger than you actually believe you are. The universe and divine sources that be are sending you that message with this card. So also you need to release any harsh judgments that you've been harboring against others. Uh, forgiveness is a big word here that I think is important that I put out there for you because it's going to free you um, to let go and let God, as they would say. Um, forgiveness and compassion are very big words here for the strength card. So please know that uh, any situations you're dealing with with individuals that maybe you have um, felt, uh, <clears throat> you know, hurt or, or um, there has been problems with these individuals, please know that now you're going to take a different uh, stand on your path. You're going to approach them with forgiveness now and with patience now and with gentleness now because time's passed and you've realized that uh, life is short, my friend. So uh, please know that it's easier to, uh, you know the old adage, honey, use that honey rather than vinegar when it comes to dealing with certain individuals. <coughs> Excuse me. That card's been coming up quite a bit too. <clears throat> this is a perfect card for you, Scorpio, because I do know some Scorpios out there. <clears throat> and I know some of you personally do believe in this, the spiritual law of attraction. So this card's come up to uh, remind you that no matter how tough things get, that that's how we can turn around um, our life and the, those challenging moments in our life by following that spiritual law of attraction, by, you know, change your thoughts, change your, change your life. And if we look at life more positive, positive positivity comes back to us in abundance. So be sure what you throw out into the universe is positive. Out of every <clears throat> tragedy, we can always find something that it taught us. And if it was only the lesson, then that was the positive that came out of it. So my friend, remember the law of attraction, it works. And for some of you, uh, I know you know that and you practice it and abundance just seems to land at our feet when we do it. When we give, uh, when, we're, when we show our grace and, and our gratefulness <clears throat> and we believe and manifest, things do come to us. So the law of attraction, my friend, has been proven over and over again to work and it's so simple. It's such a simple thing to do that can turn your life around so that your life is so much better because you're following that law of attraction on the path. Excuse me, I still have this 
throat thing from before Christmas. <coughs> Scorpio, I wish you a great remainder to today, my friend. And I really, truly wish you a wonderful, optimistic week to look forward to. And again, I leave you with another quote. Some of the best lessons we learn are learned from past mistakes. The error of the past is the wisdom and the success of the future. See you again, my friend. And know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you, Scorpio.